Yeah, when uh, Suga announced at length in his, uh, man, he is such a bureaucrat. Just the way that he speaks is uh, so uninspiring. He looks as exciting as he looks in that photo. Uh, when he was explaining uh, at length what's going to happen during the next, uh, you know, sort of uh, lockdown, uh, when he was announcing the extension of the state of emergency, he was focusing a lot on, he seems to have cottoned on to the fact um, and I've seen a lot of news co coverage of the UK elections, particularly the Hartlepool election, where um, the Tories overturned a safe Labour seat in a by-election, which is just insane for an incumbent government to overturn uh, an opposition seat in a by-election. Um, but one of the things being attributed to that is the uh, relatively rapid uh, vaccination program and the success of that in the UK. I don't know whether that's what's done it, but Suga has 4% approval ratings. He's got like, like he's like the sixth most popular LDP prime minister at the moment, like out of all the possible candidates, even Abe is talking about coming back right now. So the other thing that he has uh, weighing down on him is the fact that uh, there is a, uh, the, the government has never waited for the end of its term. They always pick the time they want a snap election and they call an election right away. Um, they've never let it, like since 1948, they've never let it run all the way to the end of the actual term. They always decide on their own terms. But right now, the current term uh, for national elections is September. It's not that far away. And uh, Suga's aware of that, and he's aware that right now, as things are, um, he's going to get destroyed in the elections. And uh, he's seen overseas, and he's realized that the only thing he can really do to... Uh, boost himself ahead of these elections is to get as many people vaccinated as possible. So while the whole vaccination thing started out there, we, they were saying that, yeah, we bought enough vaccines, they're all frozen and st st stored in warehouses. Um, it's not our responsibility to distribute them. That's up to the prefectures. We'll get them to the prefectures, but if, you, if they are being distributed too slowly, blame the prefectures. That's literally what they said. They said, we've done our job. Uh, if you've got any complaints about not getting vaccinated yet, the fact that Japan is like the, the slowest vaccinating country in the developed world, even though they have far more stocks of vaccine than many other countries that are actually vaccinating more quickly. Um, uh, they were totally just passing the blame onto the local prefectures. However, um, there's been so much outrage at the slow pace of the uh, vaccination program. Currently, they are trying to vaccinate 4.8 million medical workers and 36 million people who are vulnerable and over 65 years old. Uh, and there are about 3 million in, actually, or 2 million in at the moment. So it's not that bad, but, you know, it, it is going at a slow pace. They have been increasing the pace lately. Golden Week, they did stop everything. I mean, you think that would be a time that you could actually increase vaccinations. Um, but they, they, they let doctors take their holidays. So they're up to about 350,000 shots per day at the moment, remembering that the vaccine that they're using, the Pfizer one, takes two shots. Um, however, the, the, the Prime Minister has said that their goal is to get all 40 million, the 36 million elderly and 4.8 million medical workers, to get them all vaccinated by the end of July. In order to do that, they will need to vaccinate more than 1 million people per day. Uh, they've actually pledged that the full push on this is going to start from this week, um, with large vaccination centres to open up in Tokyo and Osaka on the week of the 26th of May. Um, but the government's decided to stop being passive about this. They actually ordered, they, they sent an order, we command you, 47 prefectures, to vaccinate more quickly, which apparently pissed off all the governors immediately because after being sort of past the buck on this, now they're being, now the government's pretending like, you know, they're now, now I command you prefectures to vaccinate more quickly. Um, but yeah, they're definitely piling on uh, pressure and targets and they are contributing resources like extra support money as well as uh, self-defense force support so they're using the military to help with this all of these things other countries have been doing they could have actually planned all of this sooner but uh, they, they're getting the message now and i think it's no longer about getting it done before the olympics right now the target is only to get the elderly done by the time in the middle of the olympics but i think they are thinking beyond that to september of getting through as much of the population as possible it would be impossible to get the whole country done but they could probably, if they could get through like 50% of the country by, you know, September, um, that would probably help them. If they have a positive image about the vaccination program, it will help them in the national election. So that's what it's going to. And certainly if they could actually get a million shots a day done, that would be pretty impressive. 127 million people to get through, but um, we'll see how it goes. Um, Theodore Sharp, are you able to vote? No, unless you live in a local government that recognizes foreign voters. I think even then you have to be a permanent resident and there is only like two districts anywhere in Japan that allow voting in local elections and it was very controversial when it came up. No, you cannot vote in Japan. You can vote as a foreigner in places like New Zealand. I don't know what it's like in America, but you can't vote in Japan, unfortunately. Um, 
but uh yeah good to see you in the chat there uh Theodore Sharp Travis Moore good to see you still still confuses you that people vote Tory yes I, t and, and I, I think my read oh I don't know anything or care about the UK at all honestly um but um I mean everybody just seems to hate everyone so much over there particularly in the politics stuff but my read is um is that the Labour there is it's a it's a global phenomenon it's like the Democrats in America when they were in the, the wilderness it's like the 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 Democrats in Japan um, the, the the it's more it seems to me more that the opposition is in disarray. Uh, so so much as that the the right wing is doing a great job, uh, but the disarray of the left wing is causing right wing parties to claim their voters. And you know I, I think a, a lot of it is due to tone deafness from the left and, and inability inflexibility to recognize what their constituents actually think are important issues. Um, so yeah, they've been coming to terms with that, and I know that the Labour's been going through a big thing. They're sort of going back in the Tony Blair direction in the UK, which is of course causing huge ructions to continue inside the Labour Party. Um, interesting times there, but but honestly, whenever I actually see English people talking anything about UK politics, it's just so venomous. <laughs> it's not as bad as Australia, but it's pretty close, um, and arguably more right wing than Australia, which I never thought could happen. So, yeah, yeah. By the way. I, I think I said this last week. I was just hearing. Oh no, I, I won't even go into Aussie politics. That's just scary. But yeah, yeah, it's an interesting times anyway. But certainly, um, you, I, I can definitely see how um, being seen to be good on vaccinating everybody, being good for votes. I mean, look, it worked for Benjamin uh, Netanyahu in Israel. Obviously, um, the guy was in the middle of, I think, actually criminal charges, and he got reelected pretty much just because of the vaccine. So clearly, it's something that um, yes, smart politicians should be paying attention to. Um, uh, Akasan, yeah, your 74 year old student with leukemia, four years left to live and is waiting on his shot. Got a card a few weeks ago, still waiting. That's terrible. Yeah, so obviously they've got to, they've got to speed things up. What's